Hi and welcome back to the Up Content YouTube channel. In this video we'll be going over how Up Content really works and it'll give you a little bit more of an understanding of the platform. One thing worth noting is that Google and Up Content are definitely not the same. Google, you would have to type in a general phrase and it'll give you results for that. But Up Content, we're looking to get you more detailed, uh, concise articles that would be more along the lines of what you are looking for. And to do that, we use Boolean in terms. And we'll walk through how to set up a topic. And that's the first part of UpContent. If we click New Topic, we're going to use the Guided Query Builder. And we're going to go ahead and type in what we want to search for something about. So, for example, we have examples down there. We'll just use one of those examples. We'll use Marketing. And then we're going to refine our interest area. What this is doing is it's saying we are looking for the word marketing in every single article that appears. And then one of the next words that we input into up content. So our, we can go ahead and use our examples again. So trends, strategies. You can see that there's the word or here, which means that we're looking for the word marketing and one of these two words. If we click next, we'll go ahead and look at terms we would like to exclude. So for example, there are no examples here, but we could go ahead and say 2020, or we can say any kind of term there. And then lastly, we click next and name our topic. From there, we're gonna create our topic, and it'll save and it'll run its process, and this is a pretty vague topic search, so it's going to give us a lot of articles pertaining to what we had input. Once we find some articles that we like, we would then go ahead and send it to our collections, which is going to be our staging area for up content. So let's say we like this three pillars of SEO marketing. We're going to go ahead and pr press the plus button to add to collections. We're going to send the one collect some one suggestion to collection. We're going to just go ahead and send it to the test collection. Click send to collection. It'll send it over there, and we can go to test. Within the test collection, we can now see that that article we had sent over is right here and ready to be exported out to your audience. If you have any questions or any concerns about the UpContent platform, please reach out to us at info at upcontent.com, myself specifically, Dylan at upcontent.com, or you can give us a phone call at the number 412-447-1773. Thanks.